So we have 20 people in a race, 12 women and 8 men. And we have to find the, the probability that the top three finishes are all men. This is a classic example of why a probability theory problem is really two counting problems. Because the probability is how many out of how many. So the denominator will be the total number of outcomes. How many outcomes are possible? That would be, well, the three finishers out of 20 people. So that's 20 choose 3. And now the numerator would be the, the cases that we're interested in. How many different ways can we list all three finishers as being men? And the answer is, well, if we want them all to be men, we have to select them from these eight. So that's eight choose three. So the rest is just computational. Eight choose three is eight times seven times six divided by six. And we divide that by 20 times 19 times 18 divided by six. Now to divide is to multiply by the reciprocal. And let's cancel out this six. So for the rest of the computation, the idea is that it's easier to simplify fractions in a factored form because we, rec we can recognize the common factors easier. So we have 8 times 7, I'm going to write an over 1 because we cancelled out everything, times, so 2 divided is to multiply by the reciprocal, so we're going to flip the second one, and we have 6 times 20 times 19 times 18. There is cancellation between 6 and 18, so now we have a 3 left. Nothing, nothing in the denominator is divisible by 7, so that we're stuck with that. And so 8 is the only thing that we can cancel out. Both 8 and 20 are divisible by 4. This is 2 times, 8 is 2 times 4, and 20 is 5 times 4. So what we are left with is 2 times 7 divided by 5 times 19 times 3. And now there is nothing more cancellation left. So we have 14 divided by 15 times 19 is 285. Now it might be good practice to check our answer using the calculator. So we think that the answer is 8 choose 3 divided by 20 choose 3. Well, let's see. Parenthesis open. 8 choose. 3, parenthesis closed, divided by, parenthesis open, 20, choose, 3, parenthesis closed. Now, we have a decimal here. Well, we have two options. We can either write our answer as a decimal, 14 divided by 285, and compare the two decimals, or for fun, if these two numbers are equal, then if you multiply this number by 285, we should get 14 times 285. So our answer is correct. Okay. What about the top three finishers are two men and one woman? Okay. So again, a probability problem is really to counting problems, how many out of how many? The, the total number of outcomes is always going to be the same 20 choose 3. How many different ways can we select the three finishers out of the 20 people? Now then, we have two selections to make. If we want one woman, how many ways can we select that? Well, that's 12 choose 1. And if we want two men, that's 8 choose 2. And no matter who the woman is, there is an independent selection for the men, so we multiply these two. So this is the formula. 12 choose 1 is how we select the one woman finalist, and 8 choose 2 is how we select the two men finalists. Okay, so the rest is just crunching numbers. 12 choose 1 is 12. 8 choose 2 is 8 times 7 divided by 2. And 20 choose 3 is 20 times 19 times 18 divided by 6. So let's see a little bit of cancellation. Between the 12 and a 2, that's going to be a 6. So the top is 6 times 8 times 7. And the denominator, well, there is an easy cancellation between 6 and 18. So we have 3 times 
19 times 20. 19 and 7 are primes that don't share anything in common, so we just have to get rid of the rest. Between 6 and 3, there is a, a 3. This is 2 times 3, this is 1 times 3. And 20 is 5 times 4, meanwhile 8 is 2 times 4. So what we have is 2 times 2 times 7 divided by 5 times 19. So that's 28 divided by 95. Thank you for watching.